Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're making pallet coasters, just little coasters that look like pallets. Um, you can pick up supplies at the main library if you haven't already. Now in the bag, you will find everything you need to make, well, almost everything you need to make this. Some stuff you'll have to have at home. So you'll have, well, you'll have one piece of balsa wood, you'll have 10 craft sticks, and you'll have a little thing of paint. That's all the paint you're going to need to do what you need. You're going to mix this paint with water. And the rest of the stuff that you'll need uh, to find at home is some, um, oh, we already have the paint for you, some wood glue or hot glue, some kind of sharp knife to cut the balsa wood. I used a box cutter. You could use an X-Acto knife as well. I used just sharp scissors to cut the craft sticks. And then a paintbrush and also a piece of wax paper or something else that you can use to protect your desk or table or wherever you're working. One other thing you might want to protect whatever working space you're working on is a, an old phone book or a stack of old papers, some scrap paper to cut on so that you don't cut and damage your desk or table. Go ahead and get your supplies and we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to do once you have all of your supplies gathered is you're going to cut your craft sticks into three and three quarter inch long pieces. So when you measure the, the craft sticks, measure from past the round end. So just inside the round end. Just measure three and three quarters as close as you can. If they're not perfect, that's okay. Once you measure your craft sticks, measure your balsa wood into three, three and seven eighths inch long pieces. Once you have everything measured, you'll go ahead and cut it. With the balsa wood, a nice sharp knife works best. I've got a box cutter here. And I'm going to use a, a stack of scrap paper to cut on top of so that I don't damage my desk. And be very careful. And one thing that I have found works well for cutting this if you can't get all the way through in one go is just to score each side sometimes with brute force you can jam it through but another trick i like is just to score each side and then snap it in the middle. That works well. We 
go. For the craft sticks, I just use a sharp pair of scissors. You can cut through the craft sticks surprisingly easily. Just do it carefully so that you don't split the wood, but I just find that it gives me more control and it goes through real easy. Just do that with all of your craft sticks. Okay, and now we're ready to paint. I'm gonna also use this scrap paper to paint on top of so that I don't get paint all over the wax paper. I'm just gonna arrange everything on here. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna take one of your scrap pieces you're going to use that to test the strength of your mixture, your paint mixture. So I've already got mine mixed up here. You're going to want to use just a very small amount of paint. You shouldn't need more than what we provided, uh, but you may need to transfer what we provided into a larger container so that you can get as much of, as diluted a mixture as you'd like. Um, so once you have the mixture you like, go ahead and test it on your scrap piece of wood. See if it's dark enough or light enough for you, as it were. I just wanted a nice light stain like this, and I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go ahead with my painting. And it dries really fast. So by the time you get through one side, it'll be ready to do the other side. And the wood absorbs some of it too, so... And also, if you end up getting your paint thinner than you'd like, you can also always do a second coat. And now, yep, it's already dry enough to go ahead and flip over and do the other side. I really like the parts where you can see the grain of the wood in lighter detail. And once you're finished painting, just let it finish drying. 
everything's pretty dry so we'll go ahead and transfer to our wax paper and get ready to glue now as far as what order you do this in it's up to you I am gonna try by starting with the base which is the craft sticks so space them as even evenly as I can And then the balsa wood is going to go through the middle like this. So I can see they need to come together a little bit more. But then maybe space them back out a little bit. You might even want to glue the ones on the edge first. So the first and the last one. And then space these other ones between them. That's up to you. I'm just going to start gluing as best I can. I think I am going to try gluing it to both edges first. So you might want to put this one on this end and kind of adjust it before it dries so you can make sure it's even. You might want to go ahead and wipe off any excess. You could also use one of your scrap pieces to wipe that off. And it doesn't dry that quickly, so if I used hot glue, it would dry faster. I'm doing what I can. Because this will help. Doing the ends first helps keep it straight, too, I think. No, I think it's gluing itself to the wax paper, but that's okay. So it won't stick. Turn your wax paper, that works too. I can see it's nice and even. Okay. Now, yeah, that's already getting tacky there. I'm gonna try to flip it over. Nope, came off a bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the middle one now. Put it right there in the middle. Just press it down. This previous one is starting to firm up, that's good. And this one is pretty firm. I'm going to try to flip it over. It just comes right off that wax paper real easy. There you go. Alright. 
And the next piece I think I'll place right in the middle and then I'll center the next pieces in between those to try to get it as even as I can. Okay. It's pretty even. Now you're going to carefully flip it over. Try not to use the same areas of the wax paper. And we're going to go ahead and do the rest and then we're going to put it under something heavy to finish drying. If you used hot glue you won't have to do that but if you used wood glue I would recommend letting it finish drying for about 24 hours or whatever the directions on the back of your glue say before you do anything with your palette. You can see how the line is ending up. Not super even, but that's okay. Okay. And then you're just going to put it under something heavy. I would fold a the wax paper over it so that any glue that comes out doesn't stick to the heavy book or whatever else you put on top of it and just leave it smashed under that for 24 hours before you do anything with it. Once you've let the glue dry overnight you'll have your very own palette coaster. Look at that. Pretty cute right? Really easy to make. Well, I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I know I had fun. And I hope you'll come back and join us next month. We'll be having uh, Laura make some paper wreaths and show you how to do that. We'll have some supplies again next month that you can come pick up. And we hope you join us back here for that. All right. Bye.